Last time on Penguin Beach, Austin shocked us all by going behind Elizabeth's back to spend some alone time with Courtney. Rocco and Hoover secured themselves a new nest with waterfront views. And Harlan left DG in the dark to pursue his new love interest, Katie. With breeding season just around the corner, relationships on Penguin Beach are heating up. Some couples are getting their practice in early, whereas others are taking the time to seriously reconsider their current partner bonds. No relationship is safe when this many pheromones are flying free. So I think it's time to reveal this week's hidden secrets and new relationships. Once they hit breeding age, African penguins are on the lookout for that special someone. When African penguins hit about three or four years old, they'll start looking for a mate and they'll establish a strong pair bond and eventually start a little family and lay some eggs. At only two years of age, Laurie isn't quite old enough to settle down with a partner just yet. But as we saw with McKinney, when it comes to intimacy, youth is not a barrier for Laurie. Let's just say she sees this time in her life as a great opportunity to shop around. After all, there are some strapping young single penguins in this colony. Laurie's situation is sometimes something out of a reality show. Uh, even though that she's a, a young single two-year-old, she thinks that she's a very mature penguin. While we have some available males that aren't yet spoken for, Lori seems to like the challenge of going after birds that are already in a relationship. And according to Lori, not so single Dan looks like he could do with a bit of extra attention. Lori starts with her signature move, the gentle neck preen, which Dan seems to enjoy. But not for long. Dan's partner Molly has spotted Lori's pass at her man, and she's not impressed. Lori backs off plays it cool and waits for the right moment to pick up where she left off. What's this? It looks like disloyalty won't be tolerated in the colony today. Prince has spotted their not-so-subtle beachside canoodling and he's putting a stop to it. Laurie knows a lost cause when she sees one and admits defeat for now. And we'll, we'll just sort of see how things play out between Laurie and all the rest of her uh, boy toys. Over at the rock caves, DG is doing his best to prove his everlasting loyalty to Harlan. Yet, unfortunately for DG, Harlan is showing very little enthusiasm. He only has one penguin on his mind, Katie. Poor DG. Uh, he's do doing everything he can to get Harlan's attention, uh, but Harlan has certainly changed his, his uh, opinion or his affection to DG to Katie. Uh, Katie's one of our older birds. Uh, but apparently she's very attractive, especially to Harlan. Any chance that Harlan gets, he's spending his time defending Katie. So he's, he's pretty much all about her at this point. Even when DG is less than two feet away. But yet again, other members of the colony have shown their disapproval for disloyalty and are fighting for DG's honour. Harlan has made his position quite clear. He is with Katie now, and he stands by his decision. The penguins are all very aware of who's partnered with who, but when things get out of hand, they're not afraid to uh, take things into their own slippers. Meanwhile, Laurie still has boys on her mind, and she's not afraid to pursue them publicly. In fact, she's no stranger to a bit of backlash. She's up to her old tricks again, dishing out yet another subtle neck preen. But this handsome male is already taken, and Laurie is chased away for the second time today. Perhaps she has engaged in enough meddling this morning. Tomorrow is another day. It's almost lunchtime and the penguins are beginning to gather for their midday feed. However, Gail is not quite herself. On any other given day, she would be front and centre at the food line, muscling her way towards pole position. So what's going on? 
Gail is love-struck. She's found herself a partner and he's all she can think about. His name is Cannon and he's quite a catch. Of mature age, has a great house and a playful personality. What more could a girl want? I think it all began with a fun swim in the pool. Cannon's been following Gail around and she seems to finally be noticing him. And now they're inseparable. It's all swimming and preening and grooming for these two. Gail and Cannon seem to be the hottest thing on the beach today. Uh, Gail has found something more interesting than food. But if we know Gail, she will always make room in her day for her first love. Next week on Penguin Beach, we catch up with our newest colony member, Jack. Has he found somewhere to sleep? And has he found someone to sleep next to? Everyone's favourite single girl, Laurie, is starting to molt. But how will the boys react to her new look? And are Hoover and Rocco preparing to become parents? <laughs>